Yo, welcome back guys. So I wanted to briefly go into this chorus, Panic at the Disco, This is Gospel. Let's check it out. Cause I still want you if you want deep singing knowledge that you'll get nowhere else, please subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Right, so how do we get this chorus? How do we get it full out like he is? I'm going to give you some specific tips and specific things to think about in order to navigate this chorus successfully. Firstly on the verse, <clears throat> and just typically for his style of singing, there's a little bit of this generally through the song, yeah? Um, it's less where he would talk, um, and it's more here. This is gospel. It's a little bit lower to the larynx generally when he is singing. Um, we actually get some... five years old. So listen to this. When I was five years old. When I was five years old. When I was five years old. He's right there when he talks. Now listen to as he starts singing. This is gospel. This is gospel for the fallen ones, locked away in a permanent slumber. Everything's here, da 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 da, whoa 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 whoa. Everything's a little bit lowered in the uh, position there. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, a, he's kind of a a lower set tenor, a dramatic tenor, I'd say. Um, but B, he's also adding a little bit of this to the sound. So whilst he's got the biology to sing kind of low and deep like this, he's also adding a little bit of that manipulation to get in there. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a stylistic choice that he's making. Um, and uh, it gives the low range a little bit of character for him. Now we're going to the bridge, and it's the same thing. Yeah, so, lashing teeth and criminal tongues. Da 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 da. It's almost like, it's almost like musical theatre. This approach, and I wonder if when he was younger he did some of that, because um, this isn't typical of a pop singer. This approach, but we'll notice as we go up into the chorus in a sec, it's not really there. He is, uh, he's more in a balanced type of sound, it's more neutral. Sweet. So, what have we got going on here? <clears throat> It's full out. Now notice the vowels as well are wide open. It's almost ga. If you love me, let me go, go. Now typically, they will teach to narrow this down. This is one of my uh, kind of pet peeves, bugbears that I do go on about. Because we notice a lot of professional singers don't narrow. He's not saying, he's not saying, if you love me, let me go. He's not saying that. He's, if you love me, let me go. Yeah? Now, the question is, how is he doing that healthily? How is he getting away with it? Because some singers, frankly, can't. They'll open up there, and it will push. It will yell. Um, now, for an intermediate, yeah, narrowing down, you know, keeping that vowel under control and tamed up is going to be good advice, no doubt. Uh, but if you want to sing it like this guy, we've got to learn how to open up um, in the right spot and go towards that wider sound or that more open type of sound without yelling. That's the challenge, especially on these heavier coordinations. Now, what you have to have in place first is, is something, uh, and this is typically what yellers don't have, is they can't do a dark, narrow, thick vowel um, th through an exercise without getting it wide. So you'd have something like a go 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 go. You'd have that 
uh at the top rather than go 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 typically a yeller when they go up in this type of exercise they will have go 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 it will widen at the top they aren't able to maintain that narrow dark placement go 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 now if you can keep it narrow and dark and thick like that all the way through your bridge <clears throat> then you've got a chance of opening up under control in the right spot but as soon as you compromise that form and you let it go wide then you're not going to quite be able to open up like he is in that controlled way he will be able to do a dark thick gug right through his range no problem <clears throat> and all that's doing when you learn that is it is forcing you to isolate the cricothyroid tilt the thing the muscle group that's going to stretch out your vocal cords in the right way and make singing up higher in, a, in a, uh, it, you, you're able to do it in a balanced form in a balanced way uh, if it widens it means the cricothyroid's not not working as hard as it want, needs to and the the valve's going to start splatting and at that point the further you go up the more you're going to feel that glass ceiling so dark narrow thick valves you've got to be able to take them through your range comfortably and freely before you're going to be able to start opening up in the right spot in your mix like this keep that in mind right so the question is how do we get there Well, the way I'd start it, pers personally, and I've done very little singing today, so we'll have to kind of find a way in, which is often the best way to demonstrate. So, yeah, so we're doing this. This is how I would start it. <clears throat> I would try it on a gu and see if I can do it just like I said before without the without the wideness coming in. So we'd have to do it something like this. Even light at first. We do something like that. Now it's kind of thick and narrow, it's not necessarily super loud, but the idea is this, it doesn't do this. Let me get the pitch. It doesn't do this. It doesn't push through like that and get wide. I don't compromise the form. I keep on an uh every time. Now from there, I've just got to now really put the vowels the right vowels where the exercise was. That's really all there is to it. The, the, the challenge is doing that though often, because often certain vowels will throw singers. The nature of that wide open vowel is gonna send some singers towards pushing and yelling. So the goal is once you find that position, that, that shape, that right little, that right pre pre uh, precise point where the, the voice feels released on that gu, even when the articulators are doing different things, you have to maintain that position. If you can understand what I'm talking about here, then you're on your way to becoming a very good singer. But the, the goal is that you find the position on, a, on something dark and narrow and, and thick like that. And as you go to articulate those vowels, you don't compromise that position. You don't let it dump out the mouth. It stays right up there and mix. Yeah? <clears throat> so I'd have this. If you love me, if you love me, and then I just follow it through. If you love me, let me go. go. We got there <laughs> with a bit of reverb. If you love me, let me go.
Now, through this the rest of this chorus, he's right on that same compression level and it does not shift at all. This is super, super consistent closure that he's got through the rest of this chorus. Have a listen. Yeah. So we've got consistent thick closure. Again, what would I do? I would do. I would do. I would do that until it's comfortable and there's no widening coming in. And then I would simply put the words there. Cause these words are knives and often leave scars. The fear of falling apart. So the way I'm getting in there, guys, is on a dark, narrow goog. <coughs> And I'm keeping that compression very even through there with the exercise. Then I'm just trying to put the words there. <coughs> so we'll have, again, you can even go through it very slowly. You could do, good, good, cause these, good, good, cause these. And then you could add another word. Good, 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 till you get it comfortable. Those first two weren't comfortable for me. Good, 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 cause these words are. Cause these words are And then I'm adding the words gradually in over the exercise until I get a problem. As soon as I have this go 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 where it's pushing through on that go and it's not narrow. Go 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 Then I've got a problem because it's gonna it's not gonna be in that nice balanced mix, it's gonna it's going to push and yell a little bit. He's in a pure, pure true mix. Very thick, very dark, very narrow. And to do that, you've got to obey certain rules. It can't be wide on the googs or the boobs. And if it is, you've got to go back to the drawing board and figure that out before you start trying to sing it as balanced as he is. But if you can get that narrow sound, then you just put the words there. Like I said, take it one word at a time. See if you can do it. See if you can keep it narrow and dark there. Um, and if you can, it's got a chance of coming out just like his. I'll leave you with that, guys. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.